The AN94 is making a triumphant return to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. How you doing? Welcome to today's video. My name is Lottie. Thank you for clicking on today's video. We're going to be talking about the brand new assault rifle that has been added or is going to be added Tuesday, August 5th to Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Call of Duty Warzone, whatever way you want to refer to the game. This weapon was a powerhouse in the first game it made the appearance in which was black ops 2 this was the number one ar within the game rivaling the m8 which was also another amazing three burst weapon the an94 is a sought after weapon in many games it has been in battlefield it has been in many other shooters and most importantly it was in the greatest game of all times which was bo2 so expect this weapon to be a very very big heavy hitting platform on the new game honestly this weapon should be borderline overpowered and i feel like it will infinity reward will definitely pay homage to the only counterpart which was in bo2 bo3 and bo4 i believe but in bo3 and in bo4 it was added as a dlc weapon so many people did not get to use the weapon but if you have been playing call of duty for a long time you were able to use the weapon during its heyday heydays i can just picture these old call of duty pros like nate shot scum and many other parasite karma you know all these big crim sticks all these big haters using these weapons on that game and it just brings me nothing but pure nostalgia so anyways let's talk about this weapon let's talk about the details what it rivals and things about this weapon that are very very interesting so first off this weapon is an AK-47 platform. It literally represents the AK. It reminds me of a very futuristic AK-47, and it literally looks identical. And I cannot wait to see how they implement it into the game. And in this case, this gun has some very interesting features. So let's get right into the topics. I'm gonna be using gun specs from the real version of the weapon. So just to give you a quick idea of what this gun can do. So up on your screen is the first look at the AK uh, AN94 a little mix up there because like I said they're extremely similar weapons you're gonna be like wow that kind of does look like the AK so up on your screen you have this beautiful weapon just look how unique this weapon is I love the way it looks it looks like an AK-47 flipped upside down which is super super cool in my opinion and the very very special feature about this weapon is that the barrel moves after every single shot so the recoil system in real life pushes once the bullet is fired gas is expensed from that cartridge which pushes the barrel back which loads the next round into the chamber and shoots again so you have this movement of the barrel going back and forth and it looks absolutely incredible when I picked up the AK AN94 and see this in any type of video game, I love the way the animation looks. It honestly adds a different feel to a weapon because you really don't have that many moving parts on a weapon unless it is a pistol or some type of a, obviously the chamber is going to move after you fire around, but never a barrel. The only weapon that I can think that does it is the Barrett 50 Cal which is an absolute tank and that gun was just added to the game. So I don't know, Infinity War kind of has a trend of adding guns that have barrels that move once they shoot, which is totally okay with me. Keep it coming. I love the content. And can we just get a round of applause for Infinity War doing an amazing job keeping the game fresh, adding new things back to back. And I hope they are because they have 60 million people playing. And honestly, that, that player count was from such a long time ago. So it's probably surpassed that amount probably 100 million i don't know there's so many people on this planet and a lot of people are definitely playing warzone and call of duty is doing a great job doing it so bravo guys keep up the great work i know you guys are gonna be doing a ton of more amazing things with your video games in the upcoming future and hopefully the an94 will make an appearance in the cold war series probably not because this is definitely a futuristic weapon i'm sure it wasn't around during the cold war times but anyways back into it so let's hop into the fun facts about this rifle. This is obviously an assault rifle. The country of origin is Russia. This weapon has been in service since 1997 and was made by a guy named Giannardi Nikovov. I can't even say that pronounced. Um, um, please pardon my French, you know, just not a a linguist you know i don't got the uh, english degree my english is very very bad so pardon with me if um i butcher a lot of these names this gun was designed from 1980 to 1994 
Wow, so we possibly that we might see this in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War series, which will be super, super interesting. It shoots a 5.45x 39mm round, which is pretty, pretty awesome, which is gas operated. Originally, this gun is a two round burst, which shoots at its fastest at 100 and 800 rounds per minute. But if it's on, it can be on full auto, which shoots at 600 um, rounds per minute, which is pretty cool. So it'd be interesting to see if uh, Infinity War does add this to the game, where they have a feature of it being on burst, or maybe it's going to be like in a, a perk, just like the M16, which would be pretty cool to see. Hopefully, it's just a um, select fire switch where you just have to switch it back and forth, and the actual iron sight of this gun is a box which is really really cool it gives you a nice line of sight so those were just a couple of facts about the weapon this is definitely going to be a heavy hitting gun so expect it to be extremely overpowered like i mentioned earlier in the video but that includes today's video guys i hope you enjoyed season five is literally right around the corner and real quick for anyone who has made it this far my friend georgiana beautiful soul what an amazing person she is in desperate need of your help soldiers please i'm gonna be leaving her gofundme down below listen to her story listen to what she has to say she is fighting the power guys so stick with her if you can throw some money her way it will be greatly appreciated this this woman is absolutely incredible and what is happening to her is extremely upsetting and i cannot believe my my eyes, my earballs when I found out what happened. This is honestly absurd. So help her fight the good fight and donate to her GoFundMe down below. That is the only thing I ask for. So make sure you do that and support the cause. She's a great person. But like always, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my beautiful commentary and this beautiful, beautiful voice. I am here all the time posting Call of Duty content. And also I'll be posting Halo content and many other games trying to hit that YouTube algorithm to get recommended on the YouTube page, turning my gaming passion into a career, hopefully in the near future. Not will, I definitely will. So thank you to my 142 subscribers for sticking with me, dropping likes, and commenting on my videos. You guys are what makes this channel pop, and season five is right around the corner, so you know I'll be bringing you the best content on a daily basis. Hopefully, my boss will let me have off on the day that this update comes out so I can drop you the greatest Call of Duty content and much more content on the channel. And also, I got a brand new car. A brand new car review is coming very, very soon in the near future. Yeah, I am absolutely in love with it. Shout out to my beautiful girlfriend. We went half on this nice car and I can't wait to show you guys. It's really, really cool. And I was using the AK-47 as you can see on the screen. Tried to replicate the AN-94 goodness, but got the nice little play of the game too just a little drop down got a little easy kill and i dropped like 29 kills or 28 and 14 in nice kill gameplay but thank you for watching have a good one and i'll see you in the next video